Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Hello, I'm Shireen Bhan and you've tuned into India's longest running show on startups and entrepreneurship, Young Turks. Here's what we have lined up for you on the show today. Say hello to India's newest unicorn, Hike Messenger. Find out what Kavin Bharti Mittal has up his sleeve. Staff partner MDs Deepak Gaur and Alok Goyal talk to us about their hits, misses and the future. And all the action from the fourth edition of the Shiro Summit. Now just at a time when we're witnessing a correction in valuations and fewer bets are being placed by investors, our young tech from 2014 and homegrown messenger Hike has raised a Series D round of $175 million at a valuation of $1.4 billion. Now this round was led by Tencent Holdings and Foxconn as well as existing investors SoftBank, Bharti and Tiger Global. With this funding, Hike is now part of a unicorn club and seen BCTV 18's Megha Vishwanath caught up with Kavan Bharti Mittal to talk about Hike's plans to pump up his tech and foray into bots and the like. Here's a look. I believe we have a great shot at building a service that brings India online and possibly one of the first mobile internet companies that could hit a hundred million users in this country. And two years after that interview in 2014, in January 2016, Hype Messenger crossed the hundred million user mark with 40 billion messages being exchanged every month. And this week, Hike hit another milestone, even if it's an illusionary one, of entering the Unicorn Club's first its Series D funding round of $175 billion. This is by far the biggest investment uh, for us to date. And we're excited because we have two new incredible partners on board who will give us not only more capital but access to a lot of technology, knowledge, insights, helping us buy a couple of years um, in the next couple of years in the market. Two new partners being Tencent Holdings and Foxconn Technology Group who have joined Hike's existing investor portfolio which includes the likes of Party, Tiger Global and SoftBank Group. What's great is that our balance sheet now is extremely strong. That's the most important thing because now we can make some very long term bets. Uh, we have investments in things like machine learning and computer vision inside the company. We are going to double down on those. Uh, our data shows us that 2G usage is declining. Mm -hmm. Things like 3G and 4G are growing. In a year from now, what does that look like? So we are building hike towards what hike may be in 17. And this investment helps tremendously. Okay. And uh, I did hear the presentation and I did hear you throw in a few words like we are an AI. And of course, that's where you, you said your funds are going to be allocated. So help us understand more in terms of technology. Uh, you know, is there where your completely funds are going to be allocated? And also, you've gotten a little less, less aggressive when it comes to TVCs and your marketing. So are you going to revamp that as well with this latest round? Sure. So we've already been making investments in these long-term areas, but not in the big way we wanted to. Now we can do that. Mm -hmm. um, machine learning and computer vision are two tenfolds of um, what we believe Hike um, will utilize tremendously in the next year or two. In terms of aggressive marketing, you know, you get to a point where the app starts growing itself. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it today. That doesn't mean we're not going to do marketing. The timing has to be right. Okay. And the market is changing so dramatically. And we've seen this in the last three and a half, four years. Yeah. Every six months, the market is changing, changing, changing. Yeah. I believe we're in a shift again. Mm -hmm. And we have to build the right product for the shift and then go and market. While Kevin plans to be passive in terms of marketing, their rival, Facebook's WhatsApp, still continues to dominate the Indian market with over 100 million active users. It's not just WhatsApp, even Facebook's own messenger has hit a million monthly active users and is now rolling out ad bots for the platform. Since Hike's mission is to connect people and let them interact with content and services on mobile, we wanted to know if Kevin plans to jump onto the bandwagon. Considering how other messengers are going the bot way, would we see a hike bot uh, come up anytime soon as well? Yeah, the, the bot thing is an inter interesting area. Um, it's something that we believe is far more longer term. Okay. Uh, there are other problems to tackle in the short term. Um, bots are important, but definitely not in the next you know, 6 to 12 months. However, as I mentioned, we are making a lot of investments long term, mm -hmm. which means that we are investing in bots. That's not at the top of our roadmap. Okay, excellent. We got our scoop there. But uh, taking a quick uh, note on Tencent and considering how they have backed WeChat uh, and they have uh, 
WeChat was also at one point looking at India, not so much as of now. But uh, was there some conflict of interest there, and what kind of value add would Tencent bring onto the hype board? So no conflict because I think they've also realized that to build a messaging service in a market like India, which is very similar to China, mm-hmm. you have to be very local right. and be there and understand the nuances, diversities, and so on and so forth. Right. Which is why they've backed Hike. All right, Kevin. Let me wrap this interview by quickly asking. You know, Hike uh, started as an app for all. It eventually focused on students uh, who were willing to experiment, who were looking at localized content, who were looking at faster data transfers, and many more such options that Hike gives them. Are you looking to now expand your scope behind beyond just students? Um, all social products also start off young, right. and we're in that phase. Don't forget, we're still only three years and eight. Uh, you know, three three years, eight months, and five days old. Right. It's a very young product. So we're still going to stick to 15 to 24. And over time, naturally, we should see this evolve into an older demographic. <laughs> but time will tell if and when that happens. Well, that's another young Turk making it to the unicorn list. And we hope to see many more in the future. With that, it is time for us to take a break. But on Young Turk, when we return, Deepak Gore and our little girl of Seth Partners talk to us about their hits, misses and the future. Stay tuned. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks.